Greetings, cyber dogs and citizens of the internet. This is Ren Dog and Big Mac coming at you from on top of a mountain in a very dark and rainy night in this Let's Play Minecraft survival series. In the previous episode, I was doing my freaking best to get this freaking mushroom back to the mole hole and back to Rentopia alive. And right at the end of the previous episode, a creeper tried to kill us both. But as you can see, we have survived and we are now on our way back to Rentopia. I have no idea how far we still have to go, guys. In fact, I have no idea where we are. All I have is this compass telling me that I need to head north. And I just hope that this compass is actually working properly and has not been befuddled by the trippiness of the shroom biome that we were in but hopefully in this episode we're going to get back to the mole hole and we are going to put uh, big mac in his right rightful place as the sacred cow of mole city but the only way we can do that guys is if we can get him back alive but as you can see it is freaking night time and our leashes keep breaking and there are mobs everywhere there is a skeleton trying to kill my ass right now and i've lost the leash there it is Dude, dude, I'm, I'm trying to do the intro to the video, you butt bandit. Take an arrow to the skelly bits. Whew. All right, there we go, guys. Man, I, man, seriously, this is some intense jazz. I wish I had my freaking dogs with me right now, man. Seriously, come with me. Come with me, Big Mac, if you want to live. Right, so the compass is basically pointing in this direction into this desert biome. And this is a mountain biome, which makes me feel like we might be on the second continent, um, which gives me hope. I'm looking for any of those um, adventure pillars that we put up the last time we were on the second continent. I know that we put up a bunch of those pillars all over the place. So keep your freaking eyeballs peeled, cyber diggity dogs. Hopefully we can spot something that we recognize to get ourselves off this freaking place and straight back to Rentopia. And man, I think I probably said the word freaking about 3,000 times in the last two minutes, but dudes, my heart is racing like nobody's business, man. I just want to get Big Mac home. I want to get back to Rentopia. I want to get back to to Beatrice and because you know what she's definitely cooked me a delicious ass dinner man I can smell those roasted taters the, that gravy covered steak and those delicious ass melons if you know what I'm saying ready for me waiting for me in the mole hole man okay well it looks like guys we have come to the end of what looks to be another island but hopefully hopefully this is the second continent I'm I'm not 100% sure but time will tell let's get on a boat guys we need to get back boating we're gonna have to make another crafting table though as the th this, the thunder comes down from above incoming let's get this boat made no zombie please why you got why you got to do this to me man why and it was an infected villager oh my goodness gracious all right let's get our buttholes into this boat big mac one more time into the sea, my friend. I know that you've already been salted. You're kind of looking like a tasty-ass bit of beef jerky mm -hmm. at the moment. I'm not going to lie. Salty and, and mushroomy and delicious. Mm. <laughs> but don't worry, buddy. I'm not going to eat you. You're a sacred cow, man. You are not allowed to be eaten by any citizens of Rentopia. Squids. All right, guys. Well, I, I'm hopefully this will be the final boat journey that we have to make to get back to Rentopia. The lightning is freaking going crazy above us, though. It is raining like nobody's business. It is the black of night. This is possibly the worst position we could actually be in right now, man. Seriously. Um, why are we playing Minecraft hard mode, Big Mac? I don't know. I have no explanation for it. Other than maybe I'm an idiot. <laughs> but we have this all this sweet-ass armor on, though, which seems to have... Um, done wonders for us on this adventure you know th there's been a couple of moments with creepers that we almost died but all in all our armor has done awesome work for us and it looks like guys we have found rentopia at last there is the lakeside villa harbor there is the lakeside villa in all its glory and we have found our way home big mac welcome to your new home this is called rentopia and uh, unfortunately all of the cows on rentopia don't have shrooms growing on their backs so I'm, I'm afraid you're not going to be able to find yourself a wife or well even a friend um and i'm sorry to have taken you away from your people you know i'm, I'm i feel kind of bad about it but you are way too awesome to leave on that shroom biome and we need you here in rentopia man we need a, a, a sacred freaking cow if you know what i'm saying <laughs> every city needs a sacred cow man that's that's just how it works <laughs> All right, guys, we have made our way back to the Lakeside Villa. Oh, man, I'm so happy. And um, 
This mushroom is still in tow. Yes, excellent. I just want to pop over here to get these XP balls. And then we can try and get this mushroom back to the mole hole. Where's he gone? Dude, what are you doing in there? No, bad. Bad mushroom. You're going to drown in there, man. Dude, dude, come with me. Come, come with me, dude. Come on, come with me. Come with me. There's a nice little harbor over here that you can get your ass out of here. Um, although, hmm. <laughs> I think he may actually be trapped. Um, all right, Mushroom, we're going to have to go this way. Sorry, dude. <laughs> no, he broke his leash again. Where did he go? Dude, where are you? Are you? Are we still connected? Are we still, we're still connected. All right, let's go this way, dude. Come with me, Big Mac. Come with me if you want to live. Oh god, he's trapped. He's trapped in this corner. Man, your AI is so bad, dude. So bad. Right, here we go. <laughs> man, he is contaminating the water up in here, man. Damn. Alright, so we've got a burning zombie over here. Uh, but the sun is about to come up, it looks like. But it looks like we've got a bit of a snowstorm up in the, in the lakeside villa. You know, the, the, the weather of the lakeside villa is absolutely crazy. While it'll be snowing on this side of the villa, on this side it'll be sunny. And on that side it'll be freaking raining, man. <laughs> I can't explain it. It's crazy as with weather in this lakeside villa. Um, Alright, so let's get this freaking mushroom back into the mole hole. I think the best way to do this, guys, is to actually put him onto a minecart. Dude, come this way. Come this way. Yo, Big Mac. This way, dude. Come on. Come on, buddy. No. <laughs> He's like, no, I want to go home. Right, there we go. Um, okay, let's try and push him into this minecart. No, dude, you... Where are you going? No. Let's break this minecart just in case... Because this one goes to the strip mine outpost, right? No, dude, you are... Where are you going? Come on. Come with me. Come. Up. There we go. Come with me. Hmm. Man, this mushroom, this mushroom is driving me freaking cray cray, man. I'll pick up this minecart. Okay. All right. Here we go. Now we can actually try to get him into the minecart. Dude. No, don't. Why do you always have to go this way? Why do you always have to go this way? Come this way, man. Get into, get into the minecart. Get in. Get in. No, no, not that way. Bad, bad cow. Bad, bad mushroom. Oh, Big Mac, you are making me crazy dude honestly honestly <laughs> all right here we go no 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 come back my goodness gracious dude you are driving me freaking cray cray get in the minecart no bad cow yes there we go get in the minecart no get 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 in the freaking minecart you butthole Get your red butthole in the freaking minecart. <laughs> okay. Jeez. That was some ridiculous work that we had to do to get that freaking car on the minecart. But there he is. He's on his way to Grand Mole Hole Station. There he goes. <laughs> Whoo doggy. That was one insane adventure, man. That was absolutely awesome. We went via the nether on, a, on probably the furthest adventure we've ever gone. We've never actually traveled that far in three seasons of this Let's Play Minecraft series. And we managed to bring ourselves a mushroom all the way back to the mole hole. Big Mac, the latest addition to the cyber dog pack, although he's, he's a cyber cow. He's not really a cyber dog. Um, but we managed to get him back safe and sound. Man, I am so happy. That is awesome. Welcome to your new home, Big Mac. You will be safe and sound here. No, dude, my bad, my bad. Oh man, I hit him and now he's going crazy. Relax. Relax, dude. My bad, I didn't mean to hit you, okay? I didn't mean to hit you. Please forgive me. All right, guys. Well, I've been thinking of where to put this guy now that we've got him in Rentopia. I, I want him to be the sacred cow of Mole City, but at the moment, Mole City isn't very secure. Um, we need to get way more iron golems going. We need to get way more lights up in that city to make sure that there aren't any spawns going on at all. So I think what we're going to do for now is stick, um, stick Big Mac in Beatrice's courtyard, I think. Because this is probably the safest place for him at the moment. You know, we've got Greg the Iron Golem to protect him over here. And this place is completely fenced off. So, um, Big Mac, welcome to your new home. This is Beatrice the Butler's Courtyard. Where you can hang out and chill and just do whatever the jazz you want. There's a whole bunch of wheat for you to eat. There's some water for you to drink. This is Greg the Iron Golem. Um, he will be your friend. This is Beatrice. She's really nice. And you are not allowed to turn Big Mac into a Big Mac. You hear me, lady? 
crazy ass lady. And and uh, I, I want some melons for dessert. You got that? <laughs> oh man, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> well guys, we have got back to the mole hole. It is looking sweet around here. Uh, the weather has cleared nicely, beautiful blue skies. There is the blacksmith's workshop that we worked on uh, just before we went on our adventure. But guys, more importantly, we need to deposit some of the sweet ass loot that we got from that adventure. Um, we've got a ton of stuff to do. We need to smelt down a whole bunch of this urn and a whole bunch of this gold that we picked on my picked up on that adventure so let's get smelting here in the furnace room and guys we have a whole we've got four name tags which means we can name our dogs we also have golden horse armor and i think the first thing that i want to do now that i'm home why is this door open is head down to the stables and give a tray you a, a present you know a tray you he's a bit of a he's a bit of a dunce of a horse you know what I, you know what i'm saying he he's really slow he doesn't have a lot of coordination shall we say he's kind of He's kind of like the black sheep of the horse family. If, you, if you're picking up what I'm putting down. Um, so I, I kind of want to reward him. You know, I want to give him something nice. I want to give him some gold armor. Die, bastard. All right, so we got some spawnage up in here, man. That's not good. Man, we can hear Big Mac going cray cray up there. Still angry that I smacked his ass. <laughs> What's up, Atreyu? Dude, I have got some really sweet armor for you. Check it out. Golden horse armor for you, baby. Oh, that is looking Pimp McDaddy. Atrey you, dude. You are looking snazzy. Damn, son. Mm. That is what I'm talking about. All the horse ladies are going to go cray cray for you. Uh, we probably need to find you a horse lady really, really soon. Now that you've got some pimping attire to, to wear. Um, I'll get I'll get on that. Don't worry, Atrey. You will find you a friend. <laughs> awesome. So that is that horse armor we, we found in a dungeon on our adventure. You can't actually make horse armor at the moment. You can only find it. So that is some rare ass jazz over there. We also found these four name tags, which um, we are now going to use to name our doggies. And I think we need to use the anvil to actually set the, the, the names of the tags first. One of you guys, uh, one of you cyber dogs told me in the comment section of one of the videos that I need to use um, the anvil to actually make the name tags into the doggy's name. So let's head up into the furnace room. I'm hearing some pitter pattering around here. It's an infected villager. It's an infected villager. Maybe we can isolate it. Dude, come in here. Come in here. We are going to isolate your ass. Ow. Dude, just, just chillax, man. No! No, dog! Don't! Leave him alone! Oh, you butthole! Rorschach! Rorschach, why did you do that? Well, I guess he's doing his job. Good, good job, dogs. Good job. I'm, I'm a bit angry with the asses, though. <laughs> it must be said, you weren't supposed to kill that infected villager, you butthole. Um, all right, well, Rorschach, I'll forgive you. You are a dog after all. And uh, I'm sure a lot of you guys have dogs and your dogs do really stupid things and you get really angry with them. And, uh, you know, there's nothing we can do about it, really. Guys, come back down here, man. Come back down here. Sit down. Rorschach, where are you? I know you're feeling bad for what you've done, but um, it's okay. I forgive you. Yes. And it looks like your health is really, really low. So we probably need to give you some food. Um, I think I've got a couple bones here for you. Here you go, Rorschach. Eat. Oh, wait. He only eats zombie flesh, right? And steak. Let's give him some steak. Mm. Bam. <laughs> Nothing like a juicy ass steak to, to fix a really uh, injured dog, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> All right. Well, we were waylaid by that freaking infected villager. Um, I almost isolated him, but Rorschach seemed to have other plans. Let's head over to the, the anvil over here, guys, and let's use all of our name tags to name our doggies. All right. First dog name needs to be... Fido. Bam. And second name tag needs to be Jock the Second. So wait. Third name tag needs to be Nugget. And fourth name tag needs to be Rorschach. Awesome. Okay, so now the name tags are named. Now all we need to do is assign them to the, the each of the dogs. Now, I, I'm pretty sure I remember which colors are which. Let's have a look. So, uh, oh wait, this name tag, this name tag actually didn't work. The jazz? Let's try that again. Roar. Shack. The plant. 
All right, there we go. Now, I know that Rorschach has the black collar, so, so we, can, we can start with the process of elimination up in here, man. So this is Rorschach over here. Um, bam! Rorschach! Oh, that is awesome. Check his name now appears above him. That is awesome. And we know that Fido is red. Kaplaya! Sweet. And I think that Jock the Second is yellow. Even though, even though Nugget should be yellow, I do believe that Jock the Second is, is yellow and Nugget is white. There we go. Check all of our dogs now have names. That is absolutely awesome. Still need to find another name tag for Paloma and uh, Big Mac. But that I'm so happy with this, man. This is so sweet. Jock the Second, Rorschach, Fido, and Nugget. You guys all have name tags now. That is so epic. Oh, man. I'm so happy right now, guys. That is sweet. I, the, the only thing that could have gone better in this episode is if we managed to isolate that infected villager. But unfortunately, our freaking dog pulled a new butthole maneuver. But uh, alas, I'm sure there will be many more infected villagers to come in the butthole that uh, we can neutralize um, and we can cure. Let's just have a look. What is going on in the butthole at the moment? Man, it is looking jam-packed. It is time for some digestion. Indigestion tablets. AKA bang the sword. Bam! Sweet. <laughs> awesome. Well, guys, I'm, I'm really freaking happy that we got back alive, man. The sun is going down, though, which is bad time. So I think we probably need to head up to the bedroom for a bit of a sleep. Um, the last thing that I want is for anything to spawn in the courtyard to kill Big Mac or to kill Beatrice. So let's have a... Oh, mm, oh, yeah. Mm. That was a sweet nap. <laughs> okay, awesome. Well, guys, let's head back into the furnace room now. What's up, Paloma? What is cracking? I'm sorry that I don't have a name tag for you. We only managed to find four, but next time, I promise you will get, you will be the first to have a name tag. But we should have a whole bunch of gold ingots now, which is excellent. And uh, what I want to do now, guys, is add one more block to Granny Dog's monument. Um, you know, it's kind of cool, right? Because this block, we could pretty much say, has come from this adventure that we went on. So... Um, you can actually make two blocks. That's awesome. So it's kind of cool that every time we go on an adventure and we bring back some gold, we add a couple blocks to the monument, you know? So the, the monument is essentially being built up by the by the loot that we find on our adventures, slowly but surely, which is really, really sweet. It obviously is taking a ridiculously long time to build this monument, but you know what? I'm actually quite... I'm okay with that, man. Uh, because this monument, in a way, represents the series you know, every single time new blocks get added to the monument, it's kind of like a representation of the, the development of this series. So, you know, that's kind of cool. I kind of dig that. So let's add two more blocks. Where shall we add them? Hmm. We haven't done any work on this side, have we? Yeah, we still have an entire staircase to build over here. So we, we probably should start with building up this staircase over here. All right, there we go. Sweet. Oh, that is awesome. The Granny Dog Monument is looking absolutely epic. And why is the door to the blacksmiths open? Hello? No, nothing in there. Very, very weird. Um, but man, guys, I cannot wait to start working a little bit more on Mole City. Um, before we went on the adventure, I mentioned that I wanted to build something up on that little mountain over there. And I think in the next episode, that is exactly what we're going to start doing. We're going to start working on that monument. Um, it is going to be awesome. It is going to be dedicated to you, the Cyber Dogs, the Cyber Dog Nation. I'm not going to tell you anything else. But, uh, you know, if you guys want to take a guess at what I'm going to build for you guys, hit me up in the comment section below. I'll be interested to see if any of you guys can guess what I'll be building. But let me tell you, man, it is going to be freaking sweet. Guys, we've only got one more thing to do in this episode, and that is, of course, to get all of you guys from the Doggo Log onto the Doggo Lith and to add a few more of you guys to the Doggo, Doggo Lith. <laughs> man, I always get Doggo Lith and Doggo Log mixed up. So tell you what, guys, I'm going to get this done. I'm going to have to make a crafting table and make some signs. And uh, on the other side of this kaplam, I will show you who has been added to the Doggo Lith. Kaplam! All right, my cyber diggity dogs, I have added the eight of you from the doggo log to the doggo lift, and I have also added eight more of you guys to the doggo lift today. Starting with YouTube subscribers, we've got Wishmaker3000, Akash Joshi, Owl Love 10, 
and King Gorax. And now from Dogcraft.net, we've got Jagx Pro, Minecraft Kid, Reverse Trap, and AJ100. Welcome to the Dogolith, my cyber dog friends. You have been immortalized in the interbubs forever. And remember, guys, if you want to get your buttholes on the Dogolith, you need to be a subscriber of the Ren Dog channel and leave me a constructive comment here and there on my videos. I choose you guys randomly from all the comments across all of my videos. And guys, if you get if you ask to be put on the Dogolith, it won't happen. So don't even bother. You can also join dogcraft.net, the official cyber dog fan community. There is a thread there where you can add your YouTube username to stand a chance to be put on the Dogolith. Guys, this has been Rendog playing Minecraft Survival. I really hope you have enjoyed it. I'm really happy that we managed to get Big Mac back to the mole hole safe and sound. And in the next episode, we're going to start doing some serious ass crafting right on top of that mountain that you can see just behind Mole City. And it is going to be freaking sweet. Guys, I cannot wait to see you in the next episode. This has been Rendog playing Minecraft Survival. See you in the next one, my friends. Goodbye.